Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from the week of, for the week of March 16th. Um, thank you for being here Aries. Um, I think I'll save the announcements till the end, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into your reading. So what I'm going to do is do a spread for love and then I'm going to do a spread for career and finance. So hopefully that works out for everybody, okay? Um, <clears throat> Aries, it looks like It looks like you, you're getting exactly what you wish you hope for. There's an air of abundance around you, but even in the midst of that, there's still some lies, a lot of lies, um, half truths or lying by omission. Either this is coming from someone you have, you know, a significant amount of feelings for, it's romantic, or it can be platonic it's just lies here okay it could even be coming from your job or you you know in your how your career is structured or your job or, or whatnot um but i think you're seeing clear about the situation about a person there's a lot of spiritual messages and clarity coming to you okay um let's go ahead and uh pull some cards so let's see what's coming in for love for aries aries love messages okay two of pentacles yeah um it could be that you are one of two options either you have this going on aries or you're dealing with someone who has you as an option and maybe something or someone else there could be juggling with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. doesn't have to be an earth sign. Whatever this is, make sure that it's feasible for you. It's the right thing to do. Now, this could be in business, once again, career, business, and or love. But when they put you down, they pick the other person up. When they put the other person down and not give them attention, they give you attention. Aries, you could be dealing with someone who's already partnered in a partnership, marriage, long-standing relationship, or the career, your business, the business you work at, or your business, you're juggling. Um, you're trying to create something else in your work at work or in your career where you're trying to either get more money more recognition uh definitely more money every something you do habitually some of you are really just going to start to have more um structure in whatever you do like you're gonna do something habitually if it's um the the uh, analogy of well not even analogy but the example of um maybe you always are late to work now you're saying I'm going to be early or I'm going to be on time or whatnot and you're trying to do that constantly you're trying to create a new habit for yourself something you do on an everyday basis okay and there's you Aries or somebody else who's dealing with you you know on that juggling type of scale here but this is for love so i don't know i'm hearing career too so. seven of pentacles yeah some of you like and now this could be once again career or love some of you just feel as if this is um you're always evaluating and reevaluating where you are with this person because they do not provide any level of comfort, um, of uh, uh, security. Uh, their actions make you insecure. When they're gone, then the wheels start turning in your mind. Some of you even question staying in this relationship, marriage, or business. 
or at this business because nothing has changed you're still waiting for the shift and you put so much energy effort time into the relationship the marriage the business the job okay uh the advice here aries is for you to put yourself first um put yourself first in this relationship in this business in this marriage it seems as if you have been taking a back seat or you've been allowing a business marriage partner whatever to juggle you to have things up in the air with you um make decisions speak on your behalf in a manner that will get you the desired outcome because right now the person or the business job whatever feels as if you're not saying anything then you're okay with it yeah you may have to even give ultimatum ask the question present yourself or present an option and you're at that place of not wanting to stay in the familiar or the the lack of clarity in regards to some once again at work or in something that you've merged yourself with it could be a marriage and this would be this would be a marriage that you had later in life or a long-standing relationship that you you know you established with another person later in life you're at a crossroads um or this person can be at a crossroads or this business this job is at a crossroads where they have to decide are they going to make you a permanent employee give you more money or whatever or this person has to decide are they going to give you the title the status of girlfriend boyfriend or are they just going to stay in the familiar in the what has been and not living in the what could be with you uh those are the questions posed here Aries, some of you feel like you put in energy, effort, time into somebody, something, and it just seems as if you don't see the change. You don't see the turnover. Yes, it's cyclical. The money comes, you know, on a monthly basis, weekly, whatever. However, in the month, the money comes. It's cyclical. It's a cycle. You do the work, you, the money comes. You do the work, the money comes. But you're not seeing real change. It says that abundance, an abundance of, you fill in the blank, is here for you. Some of you, your, abund your abundance is going to come by way of maybe being in a marriage, in a partnership. Yep. And then the emperor. Um, there's you, Aries. There could be... Um, some of you are dealing with somebody who's already in a partnership. Some of you are dealing with a very rigid, structured job, organization. There's not a lot of room for change or turnover, so it's putting you at a crossroads. Some of you are dealing with someone who's really structured, really maybe even older than you. There might be an age difference. Who... Um, not allowing a lot of room for change or, or a turnover here what's the best advice for Aries okay not gonna take that um, the best advice Aries is possibly with me seeing the three of wands is you to put your is for you to put yourself first um, you might have to leave behind this partnership and put yourself first as I've said before an ending is not always an ending. You know, it's not always definite. It's not always final. It could be just the beginning of, you know, just the beginning of something beautiful, something abundant. But I think you have to stand up for yourself first. Let's see what the best advice is for you, Aries.
strength card yeah you're going to have to be that inner strength that you muster from the the death of you the the you know from the inner workings of your soul you're gonna have to tame yourself maybe even your spending you have to forgive yourself for putting yourself in certain situations for merging yourself with maybe a situation where someone was already partnered married and you just kept doing stuff so that they could see the value in you that that things would turn over but I'm not sure that it will uh, for some of you maybe it will get a personal reading I don't know um Don't judge yourself too harshly, Aries. I mean, it, it happens to the best of us, right? Whatever it may be. What's the advice for Aries? The death card. Yeah, you're going to have to... Something has been ending, is ending. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio. If not... Um, some of you feel like you're losing a person of value. Like, there is a bit of value here in this relationship with this person. In this dynamic. But at the same time... This person is not giving anything that you really, really want. Because there's no room for it. There are no cups here at all. There's no love here. Um, there's just two people, two or more people, whatever, just doing. Just constantly. Just the cyclical, the, the cycle. Just We hang out, we have sex, we go home. We hang out, we have sex, we go home, we go eat. We hang out, we go have sex, we go home. Um, then we don't and then you you come back and you do it again but there's no change or you go to work you go to work you put in work you're doing your work well um, there's no promotion there's no um, they're not making you uh, a permanent employee they're not giving you more money there's no even there's no talks of giving you more money it says that you feel like you're losing something of value, Aries, but you got to let this die. And it may be that this person is valuable in a sense in different aspects of your life or the relationship. But it's not good for you because there's lies here. The moon comes out. Yeah, there's some things working behind the scenes you don't know. This person doesn't let you know everything about them how they feel about you how they feel about the connection what's going on i'm hearing at home or in the workplace it's just things that you just don't know yeah four of cups either you're eventually going to get bored with it this person is bored so they picked you up along the way but they have no real intention for you. Um, let's get some angel answers in here. Uh, they may have real feelings for you. But they never, excuse me, not never, but they are not expressing it to you at all. Um, they may even be suppressing how they feel about you they may even be playing mind games this person may even have issues with their mother or motherly energy or what they didn't do what they did do this person can have some real deep-seated mental issues that they need to work out within themselves this person can be doing something behind your back at night or this is what you guys do you hang out at night with this person whatever it is you're bored of it it's going to get stale because this person had no real intention of the turnover or of the leveling up, of the going to the next level. They just were bored. And you, maybe you are available or you are still available. Listen to your intuition, Aries. You, you know this. You know something's going on here. Success, though. Very nice. Within the next few months. So you have... And we do have the... If I can, the abundance shall so something's going to be successful something is unlikely though and it could be very well um, you have a yes answer at the bottom of the deck we clarify our yes answers 
here at the channel. Um, I don't know what's unlikely, but it feels like it may have something to do with this person. I don't know. What's this yes answer? What's this yes answer for Aries, Lord? Thank you, Lord God. All right, two. Six of Wands and the Death card. So you guys have to... I've been like, you're going to have success in your business and what you do. It's going to be a complete transformation in your business and your job. Um, you got to let an old way of doing something go. And or some of you have. And in the midst of having in the midst of having success, there's an ending here. The end the ending is just the beginning for some of you. Wow. High priestess at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are the high priestess. Some of you give good advice. Some people come to you. Um, some of you have some secret hidden talents that you want to um put out to the world. Some of you um, are having female issues, but that's going to turn over and you're going to have success in that too. And whatever you're trying to do, some of you just know something. You know it from the very depths of you because of the wisdom that you have. You're very wise also. It says, yes, this is ending, but there's still going to be opportunity for you to get recognition here and I think you know that some of you are the secret you are the moon you are the lies you know because you are a part of the secret and the lies okay Aries um even though this was a reading of you know maybe a particular person a job or whatever you're dealing with it's not it's unlikely that's going to turn out the way you think it's going to turn out but even in the midst of all this would-be drama you still have abundance okay um it's just you choosing better you knowing you having that inner knowing um forgiving yourself forgiving others and moving on to something so much better because you have better here, but only if you choose to have better. Aries, if this reading resonated with you, go over to the website and book your own reading there. Um, take advantage of the text to question. There, The number below, you can text the question, um, receive the answer to your question, pay for your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. Also, Aries, um, take advantage of the coupon codes below. Also in the description box, if you wanna book your own personal reading, at the uh, website the website uh the web address is below also uh thank you aries take care many blessings to you